I just wanted to say how um, open interest works. Because <laughs> I didn't understand this, man. I did just I just didn't understand this. Um, let's do Excel spreadsheet. Okay, um, we've got five five people long. And then one, two, three, four, five, five people short. All right. Uh, open interest means um, generally open contracts. So stocks, they don't have open interest because it's um, because they're not contracts. It's just shares being purchased. Shares. You know. Um, I can understand a short position. I haven't thought about it in stocks, to be honest with you. Because a short position is open, but really it's not. It's only open to you. It just means that you're in, behind the scenes. You're just in debt to the broker. So I don't think that's necessary. I'm not going to be a master at everything, but right now I'm. On, I think I understand open interest in the futures market or the options market. These are marketplaces that um, are are derivative. These are marketplaces that open a contract between two people. They're a contract. A long contract is a long, uh, the the contract that's going long from this price. Um, the short people are contract going short. There's a lot of people long, a lot of people short. It's both ways. It's non-dimensional. Now. These are five people right now going long, and these are five people going short, okay? Now, say this is me. Um, say this is me. One, you know, all ones. Ones. This is shorts, okay? Um... So there's five versus five. What does this mean? How much open interest is there? Well, an open interest needs two parties. An inter uh, open interest for something to be open, there needs to be a shake of hands, and they are not letting go. You know, a shake of hands at a buyer and a seller. So how many are matched? One to one. One to one, one to one, one to one, one to one. It's five. Five is open interest. Open interest is equal to five. Now, how does open interest change? I don't understand because when I sell, say I'm long, this is me. This is me. I'm long. All right? Um... I don't care. This is me, all right? I'm long. I want to sell off. I'm out. I, I hit my target. Get me out. Get me out of here. Okay? There's two options. There's two options that can happen. One is you um, sell. your long position to someone who go enters long enters long essentially someone is replacing your long open interest wouldn't do anything right because um, if that happens if you're long I'm out, I'm out. I'm selling to someone who buys. Now they're just replacing you. You're out of the picture, but they this contract is still the same. See, these deals, these contracts are made between two people, but these two people are anonymous. It doesn't matter because all of this is the same. All of these are standardized futures contracts or or option contract, whatever. They're standardized. They have a strike price. They have a, they have a, they're put. 
that's it. I mean, there's many of them. This one is mine. Yes, this one is my futures contract or this my options contract, but there are many I like it. You know, there are many like it. They're all standardized, so that means it's an anonymous. You, Bill, you know, I can, Casey's uh, covering, it's a, it's a numbers game. It's five to five. It's not necessarily a name game. There is no shake of hands at all. It's just, I'm, I'm long, that person is short. Five long, five short. And they have to be in there because it's a zero-sum game. There's no one on the hook for money except the other person on the trade. And that other person can replace all the time. It's not one person. You're not going against one person. It's, I'm long. The other person's short. Oh, I want to get out of my long position. I sell. Someone else buys that long position from me when I sell. When I press sell, they press buy. And the market is always happening so you can be routed to one of them it's always you see the market move up and down there's bid and ask there's purchasing going all the time it's the liquid market that's how this happens i'm long i sell to exit i'm exiting my position so i sell i sell to someone who buys to go long and re just replaces me still the same guy is probably short but it's not me anymore on the hook it's someone else i passed it to someone else now that's when you sell to someone who wants to eat, have your long position. What happens to open interest? Nothing. Really nothing changes. The only thing that changes is you um, happen to get out of the picture. But someone else took your place. You know, that contract's still going. So open interest does nothing. Open interest is no change. Now, the only other option. I love this. You know, there's only one there's only two options that can happen. You sell your position. Um, you sell your long position to someone who is buying to cover their short position. Um, Buying to covers in quotes, because this just means exiting their short position. What this means is exiting their short position, their negative one, their negative one contract, and then in order to get out of their negative one contract, they need to plus one, meaning buy one. They buy one contract, but I'm willing to sell this contract. So I say sell, because I'm plus one, I'm long one, I sell. Minus one, they're pl they're plus one, and I'm minus one. They're buying, and I'm selling. There you go. How does that work if they are negative one? Well, negative one, it doesn't matter. Ne they're negative one to them. They're on the open market saying buy, and I'm on the open market saying sell. I have a share. They don't have a share. They need that share to pay back the broker because they're negative one, they're in debt, short. And it's really not debt, but you know what I'm saying. They're, they're short, negative one position, and they need to go plus one. So they, they're, they're trying to buy one. This guy is trying to buy one, and I'm trying to sell it, because I'm out. I, I, I have my profits, I'm out. These are the two, two things that can happen. Exit. Exit short position by buying, and what's the resulting OI? Minus one. Open interest goes down one. That's how open interest changes. That's how it changes. Um, that's how the this exchange works. Now, if I'm short, I can. I'm short. I'm minus one. I need to buy, so I can buy to someone who wants to initiate a short position. So I need to buy, and they're selling it. So they're selling that share to me. Um, so I, I buy that, but they're now in debt to the broker because they're now short, and they just replace me on the on the short. Or I'm selling short, and, and I want to buy to cover, so I have to press plus one, 
and then I could sell to someone who's going long and exiting their position. If the long position is exited, they're saying sell me out, but I'm saying buy me out at that. Buy plus one. They're saying sell plus one because they're all they're done with the contract. Boom, open interest goes down one. Um, how does open interest go up? Well, if I'm a free man right now, I have no position, I enter a position short negative one, I press sell. I sell when someone else wants to long and initiate a position long. That's when open interest goes up, meaning I sell, I sell one, minus one now. I sell to someone who buys at the same time. And I, I, do, I find that hard to believe that we're both clicking the button at the same time and stuff like that. But that's what the bid and ask is. You press market. That's what the bid and ask is. There's tons of orders going on. It is realistic because um, there's tons of orders going on. That's how it works. Um, when I want to short, someone else wants to go long at the same time. Or, like I said, when I want to short, someone else wants to... Um, um, well, how does this work if one person wants to? Say, I want to sell short, but no one wants to buy. No one wants to buy to enter long. They're all open interest, so they just want to leave. So if I want to short, let's say I want to short at this price right now. I'm negative one. My order's sitting there. Someone has to buy it. That's generally what happens. Um... And if, if someone's long and they want to exit, so they they sell, that would that would be on the same side. That'd be on the same side because they're selling off their position to exit, and I'm selling onto the position to enter. So it would have to be someone who's short who needs to go buy, so says buy, and um, buys it from me who wants to go short. In that sense, I would just replace that person short, and the open interest wouldn't change. However, if I want to enter the market, and let's say um, none of the shorts want to close their positions, I'm entering a new position, and that the next person is um, buying. You can only buy when a short position is exiting their position by buying, which is not the case, or someone else is buying long. That's the only two ways to do it. So that person would be buying to enter long. And if there's nobody buying, the price goes down until I find a buyer. And that's why the shorts can win. That's why price goes down. No shorts want to get out of the positions. And I want to get in short, so I seek the next available price. And then the next available price is yada yada, one down. Someone bought there, and then that's how price moves. The price moves the last last traded price. That's how price moves. So it's a very complex, but very simple at the same time. It is a fundamental thing that should be known in the marketplace. And it is still confusing, and I should know it more. But sometimes I just have to walk through that to understand, like, <clears throat> what the hell is going on? How does this market actually happen? How does the marketplace actually work? So... That's open interest.